Well? Delightful room. Not much like the place you woke up in this morning. You followed me here? Yes. Are you uh, a detective? Oh, no. Quite the contrary. Don't be afraid, Sir George. You know my name? Oh, yes. A very old and highly honored name. And being the bearer of such a name, and also a very wealthy man, I thought you might care to possess yourself of this trifle. Rather than let it fall into the hands of the police, it is yours, if I'm not mistaken, the initials, G.F. Where did you get this? It came out of your pocket. I saw it fall, which you never noticed. You were very busy, bending over something with a knife. Then you put something in your pocket. Come along, Holmes, come along, come along. How many more talismans, I tell you? You're missing a treat. This is delicious. A little jam tarts to follow. Aren't you tempted? Mm. You and your flesh pots. They tell me that the fish is good for the brains. Brains I haven't any. You realize that a day, a whole day, and a night have gone by since that festive affair in Edgware Road? I'm as much in the dark as ever. Here comes a client, unless I'm very much mistaken. Well, attractive. Very attractive. Obviously, she left home under the stress of some very great emotion. How do you know that? She isn't wearing any gloves. A startling omission in a young lady of fashion. No, she didn't put her coat on. Open car, too. Furthermore, there's something in that bag she wants to show me. What makes you say that? The bag doesn't match her dress, indicating it was picked for size rather than style to accommodate some bulky object. You amaze me, Holmes. I didn't mention my dear fellow. Well, that's interesting. What is? A cab, turning at the empty house. I wonder why he followed her here. Oh, wouldn't you? I'll pass him with glasses. No. Yes, Mrs. Hudson? It's a young lady, sir. Most urgent. Ask her to come in. Uh, go right in, miss. Mr. Holmes? Yes, this is my friend, Dr. Watson. How do you do? How do you do? Mr. Holmes, I... You must excuse me, please. I... Yes, well, won't you sit down? Uh, come along. May I? <laughs> it's quite all right. Thank you. Try to control yourself, Miss Merrick. You're with friends. You know my name? No magic, I assure you. I've often seen your picture. You're the daughter of Sir George Merrick, aren't you? Yes. It's about my father that I... What about your father, Miss Merrick? Oh, I don't know what to do. He's always been the nicest, dearest person. Only since Mother died. Yes, Miss Merrick, we, we know. So I didn't think anything of it when he was away all night before last... But he didn't come home until yesterday at tea time. He didn't come in for dinner at all. Just paced up and down in the library hour after hour. I begged him to let me in, but he wouldn't. Steady, steady. Now take your time. I couldn't sleep a wink last night. Then I started hearing things. Hearing things? What sort of things? I heard someone in the garden underneath my window. 
And then I saw a figure moving down the garden path. And I recognized my father. Stealing through his own garden like a thief. He had a spade in his hand. And he stopped by the greenhouse where he started to dig. This morning, at daybreak, I, I stole out into the garden and... I found this. A finger. A human finger. Bring up Scotland Yard, Billy Watson. Ask them to get hold of Inspector Gregson and tell him to meet us at once at George Finnick's house, Kingston. Operator, get me Scotland Yard quick. He's still in the library, miss. Thank you. We'll see him right away. Will you come with me, please? Thank you. I got your message, Mr. Holmes. Yes, indeed. Dad, may I come in? Dad. That's funny. He doesn't answer. Do you mind? Please do. Thank you. Watson, quick. Oh. Come along no, with me. No, no, no. Take Charles, Miss Fenwick, please. Please, uh, now, Miss, please. Uh, please. Please come along with me. Dead? <laughs> 